Well, good afternoon, everybody. Today is a pretty special day in the history of the college. Um, our brand new, fantastically renovated Albertus uh, Magnus Hall of Science is uh, going to receive its first blessing, first official blessing today. And as uh, all of you know, who are part of our community, um, you know, the, the act of blessing is an important moment uh, for all of us. It reminds us that we're all part of something much bigger than ourselves. And that um, while we have this illusion that we're actually in charge of a, whole, uh, of a whole lot of things in our life, in reality, that's not quite true. There's a power much greater than us that, that is there. And so Father Stan has very kindly agreed to, uh, to provide this blessing. And it's quite fitting that that's the case. I mean, Father Stan, of course, is a Dominican, and uh, as was Albertus Magnus, um, you know, um, and, uh, you know, Albertus was one of the great minds of the last thousand years in Western civilization. Um, you know, he, he lived his life in a way that really um, is a model to all of us and to all of our students who walk through this phenomenal building. Um, in his words, in his deeds, in his study, and his scholarship and his service. He, he actually served as a bishop. Um, he was wise enough to get out of administration after a few years. Um, but, uh, you know, he certainly is a life that we should remember and uh, try to emulate ourselves uh, uh, after. And, you know, the thing I think that is particularly fitting is that um, Albertus understood something very fundamental, um, that the study of the world that's around us does not inherently conflict with our values and our faith. And in fact, the wonder that we express in seeing the world that's around us reminds us of that, that higher power that's there and that Father Stan is here to represent. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, somebody who is uh, all, that you all know who is extremely important in this, um, Sister, uh, Sister Damien. Uh, who uh, is literally the the heart and soul of this uh, of this building, and it wouldn't be here if it weren't for Sister. So, Sister, thanks for your work on this, and uh, take it away. Thank you very much, Kevin. I really appreciate your introduction. And yes, so I'm the Dean of Science and Sustainability, and we are very happy to be able to bless our new and renovated Albertus Magnus Hall of Science. We completed the construction last December and have been fully occupying the building since January of this year. And what a blessing to have completed it before the COVID outbreak. It's been a lifesaver during this time when we need more teaching and learning spaces, more technology, and larger labs with the ability to social distance in order to continue with our face-to-face -face instruction, which we are so proud to have done successfully this fall. With the lead features in the building, we also have sophisticated air handling systems that have been an added protection against the COVID outbreak. The students and faculty have truly felt safe teaching and learning in the building, so we've used it well in spite of the COVID restrictions. And we will continue to do so this coming spring semester. And before I introduce Father Stan, I just wanted to say a couple of things about the building. When we bring persons through, I always like to share with them that the building has a philosophy. It was designed and built to facilitate a particular kind of holistic, faith-based liberal arts education that is the hallmark of Aquinas College's mission. So three features. First, science is on display in the building. It's everywhere, in the building materials, the stone that continues from the exterior, into the interior walls of the atrium, the grating on the air vents that is reminiscent of DNA sequences, the lights that resemble chemical structures, the tree cookies from two trees that had to be taken down that are made into beautiful tables. And I think science on display in this way shows how beautiful the world is. And as Kevin said so well, how the study of science begins with awe and wonder. This beautiful new building is also evidence of the integration of faith and reason, which is so central to the Catholic faith. At Aquinas, science majors are among our most popular. We are, offer courses of study in biology and health sciences, 
ecology, chemistry and biochemistry, geography and environmental studies, geospatial technologies, physics and pre-engineering. And we have a very successful nursing program, which is a collaboration with the University of Detroit Mercy. The entire program occurs here on our campus, and we now have a beautiful new simulation lab for our nursing students, which is housed on the first floor of the building. And finally, the building also demonstrates the college's commitment to sustainability. From the large windows all around um, and all the natural light to the more advanced mechanical and energy efficient systems for heating, cooling, and air circulation, to the zero waste stations on each floor, to the green roof, we have built in many sustainable features. Our College Center for Sustainability has been moved into the building into one of the suites on the first floor. We just, uh, over the summer, we submitted our paperwork for LEED Gold certification and are hoping to hear back soon. If we achieve LEED Gold, this will be the only LEED Gold building on campus so far, and I believe the only LEED Gold science building at this level of LEED certification in the country. So we are most grateful in the midst of these challenging times for having this new science facility and today for having the opportunity to bless it. And so now I'd like to introduce Father Stan, our Dominican chaplain, who has graciously agreed to, to bless the building. Thank you, Father. Today we gather to ask the Lord's grace to fill this place and inspire all who teach, study, research, and work here in any way. Named for the patron saint of scientists, the Albertus Magnus Science Hall, like St. Albert himself, is dedicated to learning about the mysteries of life and the truth of God's revelation through study and analysis, the probing of the great and beautiful creation that God has given humanity to oversee. St. Albert was a Dominican friar of the 13th century, teacher of St. Thomas Aquinas, Bishop of Regensburg in Germany, and engaged in studies and disputations on the philosophy of science. Albert was recognized as having first articulated the concept of objective scientific observation. By this, he has earned the title of patron of scientists. This objectivity is the great challenge to humility, an attitude to which all scientists of whatever discipline aspire. As we offer these prayers and invoke the power of the Holy Spirit of wisdom, knowledge, fortitude, and understanding to fill all who are engaged in the great scientific adventure and assure and certain recognition of the seriousness and importance of the task they have undertaken. By the power of God, may they approach their various tasks with the recognition that they are acting as instruments of the hand of God. It is they who will care for all who are sick. It is they who will teach the wonders of creation. It is they who will articulate the disco and discover the truths in nature that will improve the quality and integrity of lives of all people. Lord God, we pray for all the women and men who study, teach, research, administrate, and work here in any way. May they be blessed with clarity of mind and purity of purpose in their pursuit of truth. May they always take joy in their adventure of discovery. 
and may their disappointments never discourage them, but open their eyes and minds to new paths of possibilities. Merciful God, we pray that you will open their eyes and ears, their minds and their hearts to perceiving, receiving, understanding, and articulating the truths of your revelation to them. We now bless the water which will sanctify these place and these your children. Lord God of all creation, through all times, your gift of water has been a source of life, nourishment, purification, and growth. May our blessing of this water bring life to our world, and through the efforts of all who are engaged in any way in this place. May our blessing of this water bring nourishment to our curiosity, which draws us to study the mysteries you set before us. May our blessing of this water bring this strong purification to our motives to serve all persons with holiness and goodness. Finally, Lord, may our blessing with this water help us and all to grow in the truth you will reveal to us in our studies, research, and holy desire to be the instruments of your love. We bless the Albertus Magnus Hall of Science. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you so very much, Father. You gave a, a very good dousing, which is we <laughs> need for the upcoming months. And now I would just like to um, transition as we close to a video that we just prepared with the help of our marketing and communications department to show how we've been pivoting with the pandemic at this time. And um, it, it also gives, gives you a little sneak preview into some of the labs and the work that's going on. So thank you for transitioning us into the video. Science Building is a great place for all science majors. It provides us great labs that we have more potential to do different experiments and it also provides a lot of spaces for students to study. We are demonstrating that harmony that is capable of faith and science that we want to represent here. Yeah, this, this new facility just really opens up the kinds of teaching that we can do with our students. Um, it's it's um, really designed to be highly collaborative. There are lots of student spaces available, and the labs are really uh, top-notch, okay, first-class teaching labs here. And that has really, I think, improved the morale of students and, and helped get them excited about science and, and helped the faculty get excited about teaching science. Aquinas is doing a great job with you know, kind of pivoting through that pandemic, and they're really doing, putting emphasis on student health, not just physical, and but also our mental health, and making sure that we don't get, you know, too cooped up and stressed and anxious about the, the changing world around us. We've come up with a number of different strategies to ensure that our students both get that face-to-face -face experience that, that we really pride ourselves on here, um, and that personal experience of, of being in the classroom with, with your instructor, along with the, the really needed safety requirements. We've implemented certain stairwells, so you only go in one direction, and also separating out the space 
on the tables. We have the room to do it now in this building. You can see we spread apart in labs and in the classroom. Certain things look a little bit different. We're all masked up and you know we're not sitting as close to each other as we normally are. But we've definitely still been able to engage in those active learning sorts of situations with in-class discussions and activities, um, doing our hands-on work in the lab. And so despite the different challenges that we're dealing with um, from the pandemic, we've really been able to keep doing what we always do, which is to deliver um, some great and interesting content to the student in the, in the form of lectures, and also being able to do some really cool and fun labs to help teach the students in a more hands-on way. So that's what we have for our program today, and we'd like to thank you all for being a part of this. And we'll send out a link so that you can, if, if persons weren't able to attend, they can watch it later. So thank you so much, and it just feels really right at this time that we could bless the building so that the college can move forward in our efforts in the sciences and in liberal arts education in general. So thank you for attending. Thank you, sister. Thank you, everybody. <clears throat> thank you for being part of this important moment. We'll be looking forward to seeing you all very soon. <laughs>